Hello friends, Tony here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Livewire in your Laravel project manually because we can install the Livewire through the Breeze package or a Jetstream package. Now to install Livewire manually, we need to run this command. And I have run this in my project. I have created a project. And here it said uh, that's it, really. So we need just to run this command and that's it. Okay, now if you want more customization options, keep reading. Otherwise, you can jump right into using Livewire. Good. Here is the project now. Uh, we are in the welcome page, as you can see. And I have added two links, welcome and home and about. When we navigate about, we see about page, home. And let's see also the code. So let's open the VS code inside the views. I created two components inside the components directory. So the layout, which is this one. And here I added the tile in CSS. Also the X navigation, which means this navigation blade component here and the slot. Okay. In the navigation blade, I have added two links, the home, which is URL slash and the about with URL slash about and inside the web routes I have registered the home and about routes. Now the about page has just the H1 with the class text to Excel and saying about page the same just in the welcome we say welcome page. Okay. Now we have I have installed the live wire, so let's show you also in the composer JSON. Here is the live wire. Now to see if we have the live wire here, I'm going to add the wire navigation. So if I scroll down and we have the wire navigate here, I'm going to open this new link. And the live wires wire navigate feature makes page navigate much faster. So providing a single page application like experience for your users. Now let's add this wire navigate in our links and let's add here and also here. Let's save and let's see now what is the difference. So if I refresh, go to the about home about you can see here we have reloading so the live wire is not working and live wire is not working if we don't have a live wire component in our page so in this page we start with the layout here we don't have a live wire component also the x navigation is not a live wire component and in the about we don't have a live wire component and also in the welcome we don't have live wire component. If we don't have a live wire component, we don't have the live wire in this page. So it means live wire is not working. Now to have the live wire working also without the live wire component, we need to add manually. So let's scroll down. And also here we have for the publish the configuration file, but I'm going to leave that. Here we have manually including live wires front-end assets. So by default, Livewire injects the JavaScript and CSS assets it needs into each page that includes a Livewire component. If you want more control over this behavior, you can manually include the assets on a page using the following blade directives. So Livewire styles and scripts. If I copy that and paste it in the layout, Also the script. And let's save. Now let's refresh this and let's see. We are in the about. Let's navigate to the home page. Take a look to the icon here. Yeah, we have a like a single page application, which means the live wire works. Okay, so if we don't have a live wire component, we need to add manually the access live wire styles and scripts. Now, if we have live wire components, let's remove this and also this one. And I have created a live wire component here, navigation, which is the same as the navigation component we have here. But 
Now in the layout instead of X navigation, which means the Laravel component, I'm going to add the live wire component. So live wire calls a navigation and I have removed now the scripts and styles. Just by adding this component here, now we have the live wire in our project. So if I refresh and encode the about, as you can see, live wire is working. We don't have a reload, a reloading here. Okay, now let's go down and see also for the Alpine.js. So Alpine.js is bounded with a live wire. Because Alpine.js is bounded with Livewire JavaScript assets, you must include Livewire scripts on every page you wish to use Alpine, even if you're not using Livewire on that page. Okay, so let me go here and I'm going to paste some code. So I added this x, this div with the x data, open the false and toggle method, which is saying this open, which means this open here. It's going to be equal with the opposite of the this open is right now. And add the button, on click, I'm going to call the toggle. And then a drop down here. And I said X show to open. So if the open state is true, it's going to show this list. Otherwise it's going to hide. Let's save and let's see on the browser now. If I refresh. We are in the about and the drop down working perfectly. But if I go to layout and instead of X navigation, we say like this, it's not going to work. Refresh, yeah, this is not going to work. So we need to add the scripts here. Live wire scripts. Save, and now if I refresh, yeah, now it's working. Okay, so you need to add the live wire scripts on every page you want. But let's scroll down also, and I want to show you one more. Manually bundling the live wire and Alpine. By default, Alpine and live wire are loaded using the livewire.js tag, which means you have no control over the order. And for example, if we have a Alpine plugin and we need to import that and you say Alpine plugin paste the name of the plugin and say Alpine start it's not going to work instead of something like this I have created a file drop down to JS and I'm going to say import drop down and Alpine data so I'm going to use the Alpine data and registering from a bundle so if I open the JS Alpine, here I have created this uh, drop down the JS export, which is the same as the this one here. Just I have created a new file, and for example, also if we have more uh, logic, and also if we use plugins. For that I just wanted to show you. And now in the app and here I have imported the dropdown from dropdown.js and say Alpine data, name it dropdown, also drop down here and say Alpine start. But this is not going to work. So let's go to the about and I'm going to remove this and instead I'm going just to just reference the name. So drop down, save. Refresh. Yeah, as you can see, it's not working. Now to address this issue, we need to inform Livewire that we want to use the ESM version ourselves and prevent the injection of a Livewire JS script tag. To achieve this, we must add the Livewire script config directive to our layout file. So let's copy this now. And in the layout, paste that one. Let's save. And also we need to add the app.js. Save. And also, uh, as you can see, I have run npm run dev. Okay, so you need to run the npm install and npm run dev. 
and let's add also the, the live wire styles now when uh, live wire detects the live wire script config directive it will refrain from injecting the live wire and alpine script if you use in a live wire script directive to manually load live wire be, sh be sure to remove it and we have removed okay Make sure that the live wire styles good. The final step is to import Alpine and live wire in our app.js file. So in our app.js we have import li the Alpine like this, but we need to import from the live wire ESM. Okay, so let's just copy this and paste it right here. Okay, Alpine plugin, and then we need to say live wire start, not Alpine start. Live wire start, and let's save. And let's see on the browser now, as we can see, the drop down is working. And if we have more uh, plugins here, we can use them with Alpine.js in our uh, project. And also, if you have more logic, you can add right here that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy friends and don't forget if you like size of video subscribe to my channel like the video and share with your friends all the best